it's me, Mario! Hey. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Well, this channel exists because I always have one simple question. What if I? What if I install a USB-C port in my PlayStation 4 controller? What if I add an HDMI port to my PlayStation 2? What if I make my own game console? Wait, 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 what? Make a game console from scratch? Well, yes. This idea came to my mind a few months ago. I questioned myself if I could make a game console what console it would be. I remember my first game console. It was a grey box with a huge socket for a game cartridge and a few buttons on the top. It had analog video output and my parents used to say that this thing will kill our old TV. <laughs> Your parents used to say the same, didn't they? So yes, it was uh, Famicom or NES because technically they're the same consoles. In my country it had a bit different name, it was called Tendi. So I decided to make this console because it reminds me of my childhood. And at this point I did not fully understand what it's gonna take to make it. While I was making this video, I got married, I changed my job and I went to Beijing. Ok, so what were the steps to make it? First one was to make a PCB. The next step was to find all elements and microchips. The last one was to put it all together and hope it works. This was the plan, or at least it sounded like a plan. Yeah. That's a great plan. I'm not good at reading and making blueprints and to my luck I found a complete Famicom remaster project. It's based on the original Famicom, it uses the original CPU and RAM, but it has modern SMD capacitors and resistors and what is more important, it works. Then I was searching for a company that can make a PCB. Since I live in China, it's not a problem. The problem is to find a company that works with foreigners, because many people just don't reply to English requests. But if you have stick to itiveness, one day you will find what you want. I sent blueprints to the guy and after a week I've got the package with my PCBs. Unfortunately the minimum number of PCBs must be 5 pieces, so I will have spare boards. Alright, next thing was to find the original CPU and GPU and I say that the prices for them are crazy expensive. I ordered a second-hand Famicom in order to get the chips, but I think that this is not a great idea because probably they are dead already. But at least I will have original sockets that I can use in my project. Then it was time to search for components to make my DIY Famicom. The biggest problem here was that I need a lot of capacitors and resistors with different characteristics. And no one will sell me a few pieces because the minimum number of each element might be 20 or 30 pieces. To my luck, I bought a few kits, so the majority of elements I need will be included in the package. After I received 50% of elements, I finally started to mount them on the motherboard. Since I live in a new apartment, I don't have any space to work on my projects. So let's quickly solve this problem.
Hello guys, and uh, I finally finished my project. I hope that it works, but maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I spent six months on this project and uh, I, I'm very excited to test this out. But at the same time, I'm very tired. So today, when I woke up in the morning, I just felt that today is supposed to be the last day because I finally got all the resistors that I needed and uh, there's like I cannot take this anymore <laughs> I have to finish this today so let's see let's see does it work that's a good sign It doesn't work. 